Right, now, over the years, thousands of people have battled a chaser in hope to win a cash prize. But how would you feel competing against all five chasers at once? Well, in uh, a new show, Beat the Chasers, they've formed what is quite possibly the best <laughs> quiz team of all time. Well, we're joined now by Jenny the Vixen Ryan and Sean the Dart Destroyer Wallace. Hi, guys. Thank you for joining us this morning. So, Jenny, this really is kind of the reverse of the chase, in a way, isn't it? That you chasers are, are on a team working together. Yeah, it's the daytime chase with the script flipped. So the contestants are completely on their own against all of us. But it's the pressure is really on us as well because we're used to working as competitors and all of a sudden we having to work as a team. And that all that changing dynamic is really, really interesting. It made for some fantastic interactions in the studio. So, Sean, what's the gameplay then? How does it work? Well, the gameplay is that uh, a contestant comes on, uh, has to get their first question right, or otherwise they're out of the game. They face a uh, maximum of five questions. Uh, and uh, depending upon um, how many chases they want to take on, they've got to take on a minimum of two. Uh, we give them a um, cash offer. Uh, they obviously get a time um, uh, advantage. And um, it's a really, really good concept. Really good. And so, Jenny, there must be a bit of competition between you chasers. I mean, what happens if one of you gets the answer wrong? It's a tricky situation. People were actually commenting on the show last night that um, one of the other chasers gave me a dirty look, <laughs> what they class to be a dirty look because I got a question wrong. Actually, it's more about who's going to sacrifice and guess on a question when nobody seems to know the answer. We're trying to read each other's minds. We just want to operate as efficiently as we can as a team. And sometimes we get in each other's way, which is when it does get a little bit... There's a little bit of a post-mortem when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. So I'm, I'm just trying to think what it's like for a contestant to sit there or stand there and, and face the vixen, the dark destroyer, the beast, the governess, and the Cineman, all in one go. Uh, that must be the most daunting sight for anyone who's taking part in a quiz. It depends, because I've always said that uh, a contestant who does very, very well on the show is that contestant who believes in their own ability, is not uh, daunted by the artificial studio which they find themselves in, are only interested in getting the question, uh, uh, the question that they're facing, and they're not phased by getting a question wrong. Those type of contestants have a tendency to do very, very well. And uh, you'll see throughout the week, um, there are contestants who really do take up the challenge and do very well. And do very well. And actually, Jenny, some contestants aren't really interested in the prize money at all. All they want is the accolade of actually taking on all of you and winning. There is a variety of reasons that people have decided to take part in this. I think a lot of them were told by their friends and family you're absolutely crazy for doing it, but some people are wanting just the chance to say that they've taken on all five of us. Some have actually got personal issues with us in that they've faced us on other quizzes um, on the daytime chase. And maybe we beat them and maybe they want to have revenge on us. <laughs> Which, once again, you think, right, if you've been beaten by the chaser, then, you know, well, learn your lesson. What are you going to do now? Oh, no, I'm going to go and stand in front of all of them. Um, I mean, it's, uh, uh, to me, it just sounds brilliant because it's so terrifying. I'm assuming that you were talking about the way you all work together then. So do you have to have a poker face, Jenny? Yes, yeah. There's got to be an element of continuing that character and continuing to intimidate the contestants. But similar, at, this, at the same time, we've got to be communicating with each other in in some deep way <laughs> that you've got to know when is the time to buzz in and pass or take a guess or who to leave it to on your team mm -hmm. so we're kind of looking each other out the corner of our eyes while continuing to stare down the contestant and absolutely psych them out well sean the the daytime version of the chase is so popular not just in this country but but around the globe as well are sort of those real passionate diehard fans loving this one just as much they certainly are i've actually received some twitter uh, responses from people in australia saying that they uh, managed to actually watch the show and they love it and uh, it's a fantastic concept uh and uh, what makes it so exciting is that, you know, you get all five chasers together in the studio at one time. 
And as I say, so far as uh, I'm concerned, um, we do work as a team. There are no egos between all five of us. If we get a question wrong, we win together and we lose together. Um, and the way in which I play the game with the, uh, my fellow chasers is that I'm intuitive to their relative strengths and their relative weaknesses. So I know that uh, when it comes to pop culture, I'm going to leave it to Jenny and Paul. If it's literature, I'm going to leave it to um, um, uh, Anne. If it's anything like history or sport, they have a tendency to leave it to me. Um, so, you know, I think we have an intuitive um, idea in relation to what our relative strengths and weaknesses are. So, um, I mean, everybody's playing quizzes. I mean, Holly and Dan do a brilliant quiz, which, uh, which, all, of us, uh, which all of us get involved in, our bunch of mates. Um, and, um, and so, are you, are you on Zoom? And do people invite you to their quizzes? <laughs> right. Uh, tonight, I've got... Uh, I've been doing my Facebook Live quiz since last week, Tuesday, so I've got another one tonight. But people have been inviting me onto uh, their Zoom to take part in quizzes, and I'm more than happy to do so. Uh, because quizzing is a new call now, uh, and as I say, there are a lot of people who actually uh, are budding quiz masters online, and they're very, very good. And it's my way of saying thank you to the public, because without the public watching The Chase and, you know, watching uh, and supporting Beat The Chaser, uh, the show wouldn't be a success. And it's my way of saying, listen, thank you so much, and if you want me to take part, I'll do so. What about you, Jenny? Are you, uh, are, you, are you on Zoom? Are you taking part? Do people ask you? People have asked me to take part, and... I think the invitations are running dry because they don't want me to go along. And um, well, I, in my previous life, I was a question writer, and so I might have issue <laughs> with poorly written quizzes. So ah. the last thing people want is me going. Well, actually, I think you'll find that. that... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's no fun in that. No, we don't <laughs> want that. We definitely don't no, want that. No, no. But I've I've um, I've run a quiz for the local hospice here in Bolton um, a couple of weeks ago and we raised nearly 10 grand. So I'm going to continue to do those, you know, every so often and, and keep people going that way. Yeah, good for you. Well done. Well, as the nation begins quizzing, you can watch the ultimate quiz, which, of course, is your one, Beat the Chasers. Uh, it aired last night, but it continues each night this week at 9 p.m., on ITV. Thank you very much indeed, both of you. Uh, stay Thank well, you. and uh, and I absolutely love it. And I, I think anyone who takes on all of you is, mad. Uh, is great. <laughs> it's also lovely to see everybody laughing yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah, for sure. The Thank you. Continue. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Take care. Bye, Bye now. Bye.